We are back now at 5.30 from silence to the studio. State Senator Melissa Hurtado joined Eyewitness News to talk about her campaign for Congress. Just two days ago, Eyewitness News looked into Hurtado's campaign's continued efforts to decline interviews with us. Earlier today, Senator Hurtado spoke with Will Silverstein about her run for Congress and previous silence. It's a highly contested district. You know, people across the country and both sides of the aisle really want this seat because they see it as a swing district. Why are you running in this race? Well, I'm feeling a lot of the challenge that my constituents are. It is a four candidate race for California's 22nd district. Two Democrats and two Republicans, two political machines who are concerned their hand picked choices may lose to outsiders. Establishment Republicans have concerns about Chris Mathis, a Fresno area businessman, but for Democrats, they're worried about someone who actually holds office. State Senator Melissa Hurtado. Her opponent, Rudy Salas, is hauling in possibly upwards of a million dollars they're using on negative ads against Hurtado. There has been one person who's been particularly been going after you in, with campaign ads and, and all sorts of stuff, which is uh, Rudy Salas. What is your reaction when you, you see those ads? I'm actually getting hit on both sides because you have the GOP that's attacking me and then I have, of course, Rudy Salas that's uh, attacking me as well. It's, I just think it's noise. What I feel... Um, really sad about is that we're not talking about how we're going to be addressing issues. Not Rudy Salas, not David Valadeo, and uh, not uh, Chris Mathis. And so I think that's what the voters want to hear. And there's been a lack of media spending from your campaign on you know getting the word out there. I know you've been able to do some of these interviews, but do you feel like that maybe uh, helps, that would fill the void if you were to spend more money or your campaign were to spend more money on, on issues where they can get hear your opinions? The reality is that it's become much more complicated for me to be able to raise the money that I need to effectively communicate with the constituents of, or you know, the, the voters of Congressional District 22. But you know what, obstacles, I always face obstacles. I face obstacles in Sacramento. I face obstacles in my personal and private life. I, we all do, right? It's how I'm trying to overcome those obstacles, right? Let's talk about uh, the issues. What are the issues that have most motivated you to jump into this race? Water. Uh, the cost of energy, the cost of food, I mean, things that are important to the Central Valley, the things that are important to the Congressional District. Congressman Valadeo and I would probably agree on a lot of these things, right, when it comes to water. The thing is, it's, it's really a matter when it comes down to the two of us, who has been the most effective, who is going to deliver, who is going to um, uh, do everything that they can, inform colleagues, inform, educate constituents that are outside your region to be able to get what is needed. If you look at the, our track records, I have the track record of delivering. Sources have told Eyewitness News there is concern that Hurtado's presence in the primary could force Salas off the ballot and lead to an all-Republican runoff in November. But with how much of a toss-up the district is, both Republicans could be kept off the ballot too. Do you feel like it, it is unfair when they look at you as the role of the spoiler versus the possibility to? It could be yourself from uh, former Assemblyman Salas in that runoff as well. It could be really anybody. I mean, it's just, it's a fascinating race. I, I, I think a lot, a lot more people are looking at it. If you're upset about the cost of living, you're upset about the cost of, of um, your food and, and, and your energy prices, then you've got to get out and vote because there is a difference in this race and we will leave it up to you to determine who, who is the best one that's going to be able to resolve those issues for uh, this congressional district. Reporting in Bakersfield, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.